Uh, hello everyone, Tony Hunter here with another video and we are returning to the murder of Slack the Hedgehog. This is going to be episode 3. In the last episode, we were interrogating Knuckles to see what he knew about the murder of Sonic. So, and after what we, he told us, he's apparently clear for right now. So I, well, it, Either way, I can clear Knuckles for now. And now, in this episode, I believe we're going to do SBO and Vector. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. I think I think that's what you do next, but I, I don't remember. I think the next person people we're going to take is either SBO, Vector, Blaze, or Rouge. I'm not sure. Or Shadow, but yeah. Anyways, let's continue. We are in the... So here's where we left off. We are in the library car. Hmm. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Hello, everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Okay, we're good. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. I'm going to try not to do another cringe voice of people. Hold on a second. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I just got a message from someone. Let me uh, respond to this really quick. I didn't get back to the video. One second. Forgot to tell my friends I was recording. Okay, just had to tell my friends I was recording really quick. Anyways. Alright, before you go, SBL and I wanted to give you a poem. My present? <laughs> You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Okay, there's two answers. Have you found any leads yet? Want to join us in finding clues? Uh, <sighs> hmm. Which option do I pick here? Uh, have you found any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? <laughs> uh, Amy, we're asking do you have any leads? Not the, if we need... Not if that we need your help. We're just asking for leads. Huh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. The tip is too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to try this. Screw it. I'm going to do it just this once. I'm probably going to do this once every video. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you and quick. Nope. <laughs> you thought I was going to do a cringe voice. Nope. If I ever dub the video, if I ever do voiceover, if I ever start doing voiceovers, I'm definitely going to have to do voice a fan dub voiceover of this. Oh, hold on, let me drink something so my mouth don't get dry. So Amy is trying... So basically what's going on right now is they found out that the victim of this murder mystery game is Sonic. So Tails, if you remember, Tails is the detective. Amy is the journalist reporter. So these two roles cannot be the murderer.
So in our reality, we won't know who the murderer is until the big reveal. And we are a long way from the big reveal. But how are you going to leave the next door and with the door to the next car is locked? Uh, you doubt... Oh, you doubt the birthday gift? The birthday girl? Okay. Also, do they not remember she got the key from the conductor? Do they not... Because they were clearly in the room. They were all in the dining car when the conductor gave her the key. The birthday key. See? The birthday girl has the master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. How do they not know this? At least Tails remembers. Of course, it's a birthday privilege. Vector, you should have already known that. I'll stop this case before anyone else. Bye. If I, if, I swear, am I doing another cringe? <laughs> Forgive me for the voice. I'll try to do, try to, the voice of, uh, the Forget it. Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. I mean, SBO, you are not wrong on that. You are correct, SBO. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. Are you trying, are you saying that we are sus vector? Vector's calling us sus. But how are we sus vector? I was, yeah, I don't know why Vector's calling us. Uh, sorry, I was just messaging someone else. And a freaking another bird just hit my window. Anyways, let's see. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Let me just screenshot that. The this in mind. We're going to keep this in mind. And I'm, uh, just make sure things go well. Yeah. And if you guys don't know you already, the last visual novel game I actually played was actually Sonic it was actually Sonic Boom Sonic Enemy Dating Simulator. That was the very last visual novel game I played. And and I'll, I'll tell you, it was actually a pretty good one. And I will actually link that video in the description of this one. Well, wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll link that one in this description. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'll link it or not. I'll probably forget. Things aren't get. Things aren't going great. I'm not sure if you're if you've forgotten. But there was a murder. At, uh, SBO, that is why we're here in the first place. We're trying to figure that out. Like, come on, SBO. It, it, was it not obvious already? Uh, 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 
should have. Oh, excuse me. It should have been obvious, SBO. Uh, let's continue. Well, I mean, besides that, besides murder, he couldn't let me finish Vector. All my social skills non-existent. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm actually the same way. <laughs> my social skills are pretty much non-existent sometimes because I'm not a social person. And I, I will happily admit that I'm not really a social person. But I try to be a social person. Trust me, I try. Even though it doesn't work sometimes with me. Anyways, let me think. So now, see, I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio, poet. Ah, poetry. The re Hold up. Guys, I know I love visual novel games, but let me tell you something. Even there are still words I don't know how to pronounce, okay? So just bear with me. I try to say the best I can. Bear with me. Anyways. Ah, poetry. A result message from poet to reader meant to challenge your delicate perspectives with the most romantic of prose. I think that's how you say it. I'm so like I said, I'm sorry guys. I tried. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh SBO. <laughs> Teardrop, oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna read this one. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 dee 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 dee. I did not think about this. I did not think about this episode. Well, Tails is not impressed. Was that it? I have more, or if you like. Hmm. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Shady and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Uh, can you excuse me one second? Hold up. Sorry about that. I thought I heard something. I thought, I was, I thought I heard something. Anyway, so yeah. So me and Tails are here to establish both their alibis. So, so basically with their alibis, we can figure out if they're innocent or not. Let's go. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy and everyone left the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. Okay, here's some map again. Okay, hold up. Before I read this, let me show you guys this map. Just a reminder. So, Sonic's body was found in the dining car. 
we just the last episode we interrogated Knuckles to see what he knew. We asked Knuckles what did he knew, what he knew about this. So, and he was not involved with this. We are currently here. Talking to SBO and Vecca. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, Sonic, I mean, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me bring this up again. Let me bring this up again. So if Sonic went through the library, hold up, hold on. Sonic went through the library. Through the library car. When he was on the way to the other car, but how, but then again, but how did he end up, his body end up in the dining car if he passed through the library car? There's no way. Honestly, I don't know. But we're going to figure that out. Where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rude? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup in the, at the saloon car. R wait, Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure standing over there but she left back to the casino car before shadow came through and locked the door wonder what she found she's obviously been on the hunt for something yeah rouge has been on the, yeah i think rouge is on the hunt for something considering that which she, she is a She's a she was a uh, agent for gun. She's a she's a, she's also a master jewel thief and a treasure hunter. So I kind of wonder what is she looking for? After Rouge and Shadow left, I mean after Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? I actually wonder that. Why has he been locking doors? That is a good question. We will figure that out too. Because that is a. I actually wonder. Okay. So Shadow walked through the library car to the spoon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. Wait, the Super Monkey Ball game. Remember, guys? So something is actually going on. Wait, he insisted 
on showing us up as Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed Shadow Lee left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Why is Shadow locking doors? Seriously, why is... Why is Shadow like the doors? Hold on. Well, I know we, we spoke, we're still supposed to get to that, but I want to talk about this for a second. So this is... So I don't understand why Shadow has been locking doors. So he went... He was here. Then he went here. And then into the library car. Locking doors behind him. That's kind of sus. Like, come on. Sorry. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think about this. That is kind of sus, though, on Shadow. So let's think. So, and then he returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. So Shadow did a lot of moving around. That is interesting. Like, I did not expect Shadow to be moving around as much. Like, I don't get it. Why is he doing all this moving around? There's no one else that's been doing all this moving around. Like, okay, okay. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library. Car. Wait a minute. Let me think now. So wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold up. So now that this uh, now this raises another question. Wait a minute. Okay, actually no. What? So what? Espio says here makes sense about him about Knuckles locking the door because he was in the saloon car because that's where he was stationed. That's when the train sped up. We were we worried about 
the bookshelves falling on us. We thought, but we thought through it all, right? We sat trapped here until Amy or right, asking us she told us someone asked us I mean, asked questions. She's the one who told us someone murdered Sonic. That's all. Yeah, that's all that happened. Hold on. So let me think it out. Oh, hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems SBO. I mean, it seems Vector or SBO couldn't have left. The library car or the school car. Let's think about this. Because I'm actually on the stuff with here. Let's think about it. so we're right on so we are really spot on and hold on I gotta really speed through this I don't want to put this video be too long yeah well this video may be a little longer than usual thank you both for your cooperation we're just gonna peek around it will return with any questions in return with any meat I'll chop it up for you and I've liked to be what? With a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. The alibi seems solid enough, but we should search for clues. Okay, it looks what we're looking what we're looking for is any evidence that proves that they're what they're saying is true. Okay. We need to confirm as confirm Vector's reason before leaving his post and determine S, if Espio was actually in the library or reading. It's all task, but we should do it. Let's get to the bottom of this tales. Absolutely. Okay, so now we're going to be looking for clues now. Wait, what's it say? Chaos Cola. I'll have to take a screenshot of this. So let's see what we can find. Oh my god, why is let's see what we can find Oh my god, why is that picture crooked? Why is this picture crooked? Why is that picture crooked? Okay, let, let me no 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 it's fine. Check out our book club. Oh, I can see it again. Book of the month. 
good. I mean, gone down. Okay, now let's take a look around. There's a book here. What's this bright red book? Oh, yeah, this reeks of the scent. I mean, this reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. Yeah, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I honestly don't trust books. I mean, any book he's written. It's weird this is even here. Wait a second. This is kind of... I feel like this is... I feel like... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet? You may not be wrong. But wait a minute. Let me just ask this. Why is Eggman's book even in here? That's my question. Uh, the bookshelf? Wow. I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little pig won't hurt. <laughs> of course, Tails. He's scavenging through all the books, aside from me. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. I mean, it is act. This is the most act. That is, both of these claims are act. Both of these are accurate. All right, let's think. Let's keep looking. That's odd. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? I know some books have fallen out onto the floor and everything, but every book on this shelf is in alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express. The train we're currently on. Wait, why would a manual be in? Okay, you know what? Do you think we found someone found it on the ground and picked the ground and put it back? Maybe. But this is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage. Okay, the Mirage Express Mail is added to your inventory. So. Yep. Got it. globe the globe of our marvelous planet i haven't traveled around much the islands are fun and all but i'd love to visit some of the countries okay he's right yeah i i mean that's not what we were all want to do Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I would love to do that too. They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plent plenty of wonderful people in shops. The food can't be beat either.
Yeah, let's see. It sounds sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor is going to Bengoya. I hope I'm saying that right. And if you ever been there, I have actually. If you ever if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pico. I mean, yeah. Husty. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes you or makes one sandwich. <laughs> Wait, what? Nice. Okay, that's the Been everywhere, haven't they? So let's think what else. These books. So many books on the ground. I wish I had time to pick them all up. I steadily have no interest in picking up books. I look. Espia, where did you come from? A lot of these were knocked over by the train speeding up. Yeah, they were. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out, searching for uh, out to searching for something. What reckless behavior! I feel sorry for the only for the poor folks. The spines are creasing. They're open too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Okay, there's the books. Uh, table. Sit down for a second. These chairs are still comfy, so plush. Puts me in the right mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap personally. In fact, maybe re maybe I'll respond a little bit. No, 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 no. Shady, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time. A murder ruined my nap time? Let me finish that sentence for you. Never mind, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Okay, let's see what else there is. Let's see. Another bird hit my window! Anyway, trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash, let's check there. 
I hate to say it, but there's nothing there. Oh, come on! Why? Uh, I really think there's something there. Shady, are you sad? <laughs> there was nothing in the trash bin. No, no, I'm all right. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin. What we find? You really think so? Um, yeah. You just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, these trash cans hide the secret. I'm sure of it. Katie, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Uh, this. A chow. Cheaper. <laughs> oh! Wow, I really needed to see this. Huh? This child's hanging in in there, refusing to let refusing to use his wings to fly because it was a safety because shoes in the hallway is often rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there's this much. I mean, there was that much thought put into this poster, right? The arm. Oh, poor thing. This arm is really struggling to clean up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up this mess either. Really? Let's just leave it alone. Yeah, probably for the best. Wait, I think there's one more thing. The door? Shell supposedly walked up. Before go, you at the door. <sighs> There's a lock. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of, the, of it? Yeah, let's make a note of that. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think there's one more thing. Let me take a look around. Brochures! That's it! I just un unintentionally, I just found it by accident. Yes! The brochures! Hey, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map from the library car. Categorized by... Which are listed here. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Nah, leave it. <laughs> That's fair. Nobody share. Yep. Yeah. I think we found enough clues. That's interrogate Vector and SBO. Uh, all right, we so we got our clues. Now we can start interrogating. Did you bring me any meat to chop? I may be a butcher, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Oh, come on. <laughs> you actually brought? You actually tried bringing a knife on a train? I'm a man. <laughs> well, on a knife. I'm just a chef in a ketchup stained apron, not a butcher. I think if you had a knife on you, we definitely think you were the murderer. Yeah. Hmm, but what if I hit the knife? Same thing, t same thing, Vector. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. You know what? Screw it. We're starting to so talk. Can I take your order? Start interrogation. Never mind. Let's start interrogation. This is the longest episode I've done so far. Literally. The longest episode that I have done so far.
So, the two of you don't believe us. It's not that I don't trust you, I mean, either of you, but I won't, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the availability of your alibis. Jade and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to play games with Knuckles, and if Espio actually was reading in the library car. Vector, let's start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We are prepared to present evidence if you need... Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Huh? What? What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. Remember... I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so I figured I'd check it out. This seems to line up with the information we gathered with Knuckles. It does! So this actually does line up. Now let's think about this. With this lining up, this brings, then that brings our attention to SBO. Rouge entered the library card to find something. You said you immediately started reading. Well, what, were you actually reading the entire time in the library car? Of course he was. Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. Oh, it must have been a good read. What was the book? SPL doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do I read? What do you think I read? If you two won't talk, I have a hook. On what the book might be. Shady, can you help me out here? This one? A manual? You think SBO was reading instructions? What argument could, could you possibly have to support this? Let's think. Alright. Mini game time. Huh? This is the mini game. This is the dream here. Any Boom. Wait, what the? Point. Go to this side. Let's go. The books were scattered around on the floor. So the books were scattered around on the floor, sure. But the remaining books on the shelf were all in alphabetical order, all except this manual, meaning someone at least at the least picked up I mean, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Good point. This lack of attention to detail is isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pile like Calm down, Vector. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can't handle myself. Apologies, SBL. A butcher and a poet friendship can form anywhere. It sure can. That indeed is the book I was reading, The Mirage. Express manual train are cool. In this case, we'd like to ask you some questions about the manual, Shady, if you don't mind. Okay. 
the jazz asks you some questions about the manual, just flip through a page and ask away. Okay, Steve. Oh, I see. Quiz SBO about the manual to prove he read it. What page I quiz him on? Uh, let's start with 14. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, during events, they can't... Whoa, okay, SPL. Espio really did read this. So I'm impressed. Color color me impressed. Espio did read it. All right, so I remember the conductor saying the strain can clean itself. So it, so yep, the robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring the passenger safety. Looks like SBO ace that question, Shady hit him with another one. The page I choose, let's choose 89. What is the Moral Hunch Express cancellation policy? No ref. <laughs> No refunds will be, or no refunds, you will not be charged a no show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. What? Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Last question, Teddy. Okay, which way should we do this one? 402. Support. What was the best to support the conductor's duties to ease the general train? Are you kidding me? Ask me, oh, what the heck? I remember this. The train has an autopilot. Oh my god. That will fully ensure the capabilities without the conductor's present. Oh, did I pass your little test? Yes, he did. Totally. It's wow you're able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. It is! I didn't know if you'd be bragging about that. You clearly, you've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Why don't we... Why don't... Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit, reading the entire time a murderer heard does sound suspicious even if true. It's, it's... Look, 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 look. He's answered all the questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitude. Vector was the only one to see me reading. After all, my alibi is hard to sub substand despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual. As well as this true, back to what's on the C rating? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true. And we have evidence to prove to back it up. Katie, wait. 
Okay, let's see. What other evidence is it? Is it this lock? Shadow's lock. Let's go. Let's get our argument together. All right, let's think. Here we go. Here we go again. All right, dream gear sequence. Whoa. We did it! Shadow walked through the library card to get to the saloon car where he set an original high score on the game on the arcade machine. But I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score alone. Crocs are natural gamers. Espel said he saw Shadow into the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow Return. Wow, this is going... Okay, where is this going? Yeah, I'm going to be... Yeah, this is going to be the longest episode of the series. But he only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was fully and more than my book, I didn't even know the shadow. You're telling me the sound of the door opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, uh, you see, I guess that's Espio's desperation. He's defending this argument. <laughs> Espio, what is going on, my man? So if you didn't see Shadow returning, to the saloon car to lock all the doors then all that moment you were in the library car you were really in the, li in the library car at all but how would SBO leave Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw SBO in the saloon car it's a mystery my dear Shady. one that I love for Espio to solve. Yeah, I believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved in my book, I didn't know the shadow passing through the library car, honest. Well, when Vector returned, he had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, and I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how do I know, well, how did you leave the library car? I wasn't, I didn't. Well, Tails is on to something, folks. Why doesn't he seem right to me? Okay. Espio was simply sitting reading a, reading a book or did somehow vanish to not know the shadow returning to the library card. Well, shadow, I mean, well, Espio does, does have the, the ability to turn invisible after all, so coincidence? What should I do? Oh. Uh, actually, I, I, I have to defend Espio on this one. I, have to, I think Espio's right because there's no way I have to make sure to take care of the guests. I make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak on this. Tails. 
we have a piece of evidence that could answer all of our problems. I don't know if I should lay it on me. The piece of evidence, uh, the map, duh. Let's think about the map. All right, 55 rings. Mini game number three. I failed. I failed close. Let me get another shot. <laughs> okay, that was a botch on my part. Boom. 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 We got it this time. The library map. Oh, I see. There's a cross. There's a right across the straight path. It's shadow walk through. There's only SBO and didn't see each other. Looks like you'll have to point to where it is on the map. So where could SBO have been for Shadow not see him? Right there! Interesting. That's where I was sitting. Reading my book. In the stack, the second and I can stack in this when I remember when I mean, when I returned from the saloon car, SBO was in that same spot. That confirms it, you see. Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen each other from this spot because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes all sense now. Why? You never mentioned Shadow's return. There's just no way you could have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping <laughs> Despite telling the truth, I'm glad you could believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it! Uh, another pair of alibis. We did it! Too many locked doors. I'm glad everything's straightened up. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a little bit on the ship. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. There, I have plenty of questions for Rude and Shadow. What about Blaze? Also, why isn't Silver here as well? Because Silver, because normally when you see Blaze somewhere, Silver is there. Hmm. You see the next car, door, the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through. Yes! That's our cue to leave. See you later. Give him one heck. Give a heck. And if you need any meat chops, say the word. And I'll keep my poetry short. The murderer, a murderer is on the loose. Wow. Doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, um, tick, tick tock goes the clock. While our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I feel pretty confident in our detective. Let's go. Come on, Shady. Let's come in. All right, guys. Well, our next... Well, I'm going to end this episode here. In our next episode... So, it looks like in our next episode, we're going to be talking to Blaze. And... Ruby, we're going to be talking to Blaze and Rouge. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload. So, this has been episode 3 of the Murder Site the Hedgehog, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!